Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is e Rose, and we're currently in Early Access version 0.4.0 and we are playing the Queen Bee Challenge, which is a challenge where we have one female who is going to be making all the babies for the tribe and once she passes away we will have another queen take her place so currently only one female in the tribe is allowed to breed um she can take on as many mates as she wants and breed with how many males that she wants to um but yeah only one female and a lot of you guys were talking about forbidden love maybe we'll have some forbidden love stories but a lot of you guys were very opposed to that idea uh you guys really didn't like it so I think it's a good idea that maybe we don't do that. Um, we don't do that. I, there was a lot of controversy in the in the comments in the last episode, so we won't be doing that. So don't you worry. There we go. We can go ahead and get this mole. And um, yeah, so we won't have any forbidden love. Uh, there is a possibility, though, that there will be some males in the future on future islands that will kind of wander around and try to... Um, try to breed with our females and if that is the case then we'll probably have to banish those children um, and not allow them to um, allow them to uh, stay in the tribe or we can just make sure the females don't stand in, in, in like any of the nests um, so they won't be able to have any babies of their own um, but yeah so right now we are have Queen Tiki and she's been making lots of healthy babies with her mates and I want to take a look at the mutation menu because in the last episode I talked about going to a different island. And I think what I want to do is go to the jungle island because I haven't been to the jungle island yet. So I want to make some creatures with stinky tails so they do not smell good. So that the smelling apes in the jungle do not try to take take on um <laughs> take on our uh, precious little creatures. So we'll try to get some of that and then Maybe lean body in the secondary one, just because lean body is pretty good for the jungle as well, because they have, you know, good speed and good heat resistance and scentlessness and stealth. So we're going to go ahead and try to put lean body here. So hopefully we can start making some babies with the new genes and make some babies that are going to adapt very well to the jungle. Um, and then a lot of you guys were saying that this is not a melanistic creature, and you are correct. Um, it is just a creature who is all black. And it's very cute, actually, like black panda pattern creature, which is amazing. Um, and she's very adorable. Like, look at her. She's just so adorable. I love her black eyes and her black panda pattern. She's like one of the most unique creatures I think I've ever gotten before. And I really, really love her. Um, so, yeah. And I'm really excited, too, to go to the jungle because I have never been to the jungle yet in one of my series or even playing on my own. So I think that'll be a lot of fun to do just to go and explore the jungle lands. Uh, Alright, so Bambi, you can go ahead and get some of these berries too. And let's see, we can move you over here. And Zelda, let's see, why don't we move you down here, sweetie? You can go ahead and collect the berries that are over here. And then why don't we move Umbrella over here? And um, let's see, maybe we can move Queen Tiki down to the permanent nest. A lot of you guys are very upset that I'm not using permanent nests. They're like Eros. Use permanent nests, but sometimes it's really easy and like useful to just pop down a nest anywhere, but I'll try to use some more permanent nests in the future. And then let's see, add, let's see, anything that you can do, not really. Uh, we'll have you stay there by that bush. Um, but let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to bring, and poor little Casper over here is a sickly creature, and she's also albino too, which is really cute, but unfortunately she is sickly. And ooh, who's this little girl? Um, she won't... We can't really have her, well, I mean, we could have her join the tribe. Um, oops, I meant to hit the bunny, sorry. Um, but yeah, I don't think we will. Um, let's go ahead and move Queen Tiki over here. And she is getting a little bit older. She has about three days left. So we are going to have to start thinking about who the next queen is going to be. Um, so which one of our females is going to take over the, um, the, uh, <laughs> the family legacy? The Queen Bee, the next Queen Bee of the tribe. Uh, we do have quite a few females that could fit the, uh, could fit the, uh, <laughs> the reign here, so we'll have to think about that, what we want to do in the future. And B and B can go ahead and get there. It looks like we're in a little bit of a dry, um, dry area right now because it hasn't rained and it looks like the bushes are a little bit dry. So let's go ahead and try to get the berries that we can. We do have tons and tons of food, though. That is one thing that we are doing very well at, is making sure that we have lots and lots of food for our tribe, which will be very useful as we go to other islands that are a little bit more difficult, because we will have a nice little, like, food 
storage saved up. Ooh, Xena's really pretty too. Yeah, we have a lot of choices for the next queen, so maybe we'll do a vote um, at the end of this episode. Um, let's see, we'll probably... Three days, hmm. I don't know. We might do a vote and see which one of these creatures um, you guys will think should be the next queen of the tribe. And let's go ahead and get Yippee. You can go over here. And why don't we try to get this mole? There we go. And Echo. Little Echo over here. You can go ahead and get those berries. Move over here and let's see. Let's go ahead and get that foliage. And Queen the Tiki is going to have a baby in the next turn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And let's see. Umbrella. Why don't we start moving you down there, sweetie, so you can get closer to your current mate. And let's see, we can go ahead and start moving you out this way. Wait, where'd you go? Oh, you're right there. Okay, you're fine. You're up in that area. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be. We are naming babies um, off the alphabet. So the last baby we had was baby Holly, uh, which is over here, which we should have pop out of the nest. Um, so we'll be naming a baby with an I name in the next turn. So let's go ahead and see. Ooh, a little boy. And look at him. He is very, very interesting. Um, interesting coloration. Look at him. It's hard to take a look. He's so, so he's just so like, he has fangs. Um, he has fangs. He has black fur. He has panda pattern. He also has a little bit of red fur in him too. He has G and F immunity, high fertility. Uh, he has normal eyesight, normal hind legs, runner's leg, and nimble fingers. He has medium body, big nose, and medium ears. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can move Casper pretty far away from the queen because we do not want the queen to get sick at all. Uh, let's go ahead and move her over here. And then we can move her right here. And then let's go ahead and move her over this way. And then we can go ahead and have the queen pop in this nest over here. And breed once again with Umbrella, Ella, A, A, A. That always makes you think of the Umbrella song. Um, there is this prickly bush over there too, but I think the creatures will take damage if they try to harvest that one. So we're not going to use that unless it's an absolutely, like, last resort. We need food. Somebody needs to sacrifice some of their life for the, to get some of these berries, which we're not in dire needs right now. We have, we have enough food right now. We, believe me, we, we have enough food. <laughs> We have lots of food. I love it. I love having enough food to make sure that we are taking care of our tribe. Um, and we do only have 16 members of our tribe at the moment, which is pretty nice uh, as well. And little Holly here. She cannot collect any berries because there are no berries to collect. Silly. Uh, let's go here. Uh, this creature. Ooh, I don't know. I wonder if we should try to like make her go away because she might be taking some of our berries from our berry bushes. So we might try to like scare her away. Um, say, go away! Go away, creature! Uh, I feel kind of bad for that, though. I don't know. I feel really bad. I don't know if I want to do that. But I'm pretty sure she is taking berries from these berry bushes, so we have to, you know, think of our tribe and not let the rogue creatures always steal our food, because we need food. Our, our family needs food. We need to make sure we can feed the fam. Feed the fam fam. Uh, yippee, go over here. And there we go. We can go ahead and get this mole. And let's go ahead and move Venus over this way, too. And she can go ahead and try to get that mole in the next turn, maybe. Let's go ahead and move her a little bit over this way. And let's see. Anything else that we can do with Fawn? She can start scaring away this creature. Go ahead and scare her. Scare her away. Go away, creature. Go away. We can't have you stealing up our berries. We need those berries. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be. It's going to be a K name baby. And let's go ahead and see. And it is raining, and we have a beautiful little girl who, let's see, she has a double nimble finger, she has a big body, poisonous fangs, medium ears, um, normal hind legs, normal eyesight. She has G and B immunity and high fertility, which is pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and name her. Let's see, did we name, hold on, I don't think we named the last baby, did we? Did we? No, okay, so we're going to name him an I name. Um, so we're going to go ahead and name him... Ivan, I think. And then we're going to go ahead and name this baby a K name. And why don't we go ahead and name her Karma? I think that'd be a pretty name to have. So we're going to go ahead and name you Karma. So now we have little Karma over here. 
And it looks like that is the queen's last day of her reign. She is going to be passing away in the next turn, but she can have one last baby. So let's go ahead and move Queen Tiki over here. And she can go ahead and meet with Umbrella. There we go. And hopefully the last baby is going to be a good one, and we'll see. And then I get to kind of look around um, all the females that we have, and we can kind of um, get an idea of who we think should be the next queen of the tribe. That's going to be really exciting, and I'm pretty excited to have your guys' input on who you think should be the next queen. And let's go ahead and move Fawn over here. And let's see. And I'll probably be picking the queen with the most amount of votes. Uh, so make sure that you put down what queen you want. Or if you see someone say like, oh, I picked Queen Bambi or Princess Bambi. Um, <laughs> uh, make sure you like that comment. If you're not going to make a comment your own, just like the comment that says it. And I will count that as another person saying, I like Queen Yippee or <laughs> whatever. You guys know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? But you guys will be in control of the next queen. Yes, you will. The next queen, you guys get to pick the next queen. It's gonna be exciting. Brand new queen. Uh, let's go ahead and have Casper. Can move up here. She can start picking up berries from this bush over this way. And the last child born from Queen Tiki. The, she was a good queen. She made lots and lots of healthy babies for the tribe. And um, yeah, with, with all of her different mates that she had. And let's go ahead and see. The last baby we have ooh, is a little girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. So we have a little girl born. She has double nimble fingers. She has normal hind legs, medium body, short snout, medium ears, uh, normal eyesight, uh, G and A immunity, and high fertility, and also a panda pattern. Like a very beautiful looking panda pattern with the red and black fur. So she is going to be um, having an L name. So why don't we go ahead and name her Loey? Should we name her Loey? Or we can name her Love or Lily. Maybe we should name her Lily. Name her Lily? If I can type. <laughs> Please let me type. There we go. Lily! Lily, little Lily over here. Um, all right, so Lily is the youngest female of the tribe. So she is, um, she is definitely a candidate to become the next queen. Um, so maybe if, actually, if we look over here, uh, I think I accidentally, oh my gosh, there's a card over there. I accidentally hit that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the, um, our creatures so we can get an idea of who we want. So Dawn, um, actually want to see, let's see, let's, I mean, we could have a queen that's a little bit older as well. So maybe I will just show... Yeah, let's just show all the creatures. So if you guys want a queen that's a little bit older, um, she can be queen, but just keep in mind that she's not going to be able to be queen for very long if she is queen. So, Dawn, she has high, she has three and two fertility. She has F in K immunity. She does carry the hemophilia. Um, let's see, no melanism, melanism, no binalism, albino, brown horns. Um, there we go. She has the medium ears. She has cracker jaw medium body, runner's leg, and claw. She does have normal hind legs. Um, oh, she does carry a short-sighted eye, though, in her active slot, so she probably wouldn't be the best. She has a medium tail and a swimming tail. And then for Bambi, um, she also carries, like, a short-sighted eye. She has normal hind legs, nimble fingers, and claw. She has medium body, big nose, medium ears. Let's see, she has G and K immunity. And she has three and two fertility. Um, but she does carry the swimming tail and the short-sighted um, eyes, which probably wouldn't be the best for the next queen. Uh, and then Zelda over here, she does have double swimming tail, probably not the best either. Uh, normal eyes, normal hind legs, runner's leg, medium body, short snout, medium ears, no horns, panda pattern, and G and B immunity. Um, she does have high fertility, three and three. Um, Axena... She has medium tail. She does carry the swimming tail, though, which might not be the best. And let's see. Poisonous. Short snout. Do -do -do. She's pretty healthy, though. She does carry the hemophilia over here. And F and B immunity. All right. And then Yippee. Um, high fertility. G and B immunity. Uh, she does carry the swimming tail, though. That's something to keep in mind. She has normal eyes, normal hind legs, runner's leg, and nimble fingers. 
medium body, big body, um, poisonous fangs, medium ears and no horns. Uh, Venus over here, she has high fertility, G and A immunity, she does carry normal blood clotting. Here's her colorations. I'm not saying all the things because that would take like a lot of time because we do have a lot of females, but if you guys see, you guys can see what they are um, by looking at them. So hopefully I'm doing a good enough job for you guys to see like what everything is. Um, but normal eyes, hind legs, runner's leg, big body, short snout, and medium ears. So Queen Lily, um, she's the youngest creature, which we just did. Uh, and then Karma, who was born in this episode, um, G and B immunity. Uh, she does have the swimming tail too. Does Lily? Lily has both uh, medium tail, so Lily might is winning on the tails right now. <laughs> um, double and both fingers, big body, poisonous fangs, and medium ears. All right, and G and B immunity. And then Holly, she has high fertility, F and B immunity. She has normal blood clotting, does carry hemophilia in her inactive slot. She does carry the swimming tail, um, eyes, hind legs, runner's leg, lean body. Um, short snout and medium ears. Um, Gooby, <laughs> uh, normal fertility. Uh, G and A immunity. Let's see. She does have the good tails. She has good eyes. She has good hind legs. She has nipple fingers and runner's leg. She has medium body, big nose, and medium ears. She does have stripes too. Um, increases camouflage when hiding in grass. Uh, and then the next is Fawn. She has high fertility. She has F and B immunity. She has normal blood clotting. She does carry hemophilia. She has panda pattern, double nimble fingers, medium body, big nose, medium ears, and normal eyes, and normal medium tails. And then Echo, um, she does carry the swimming tail. Uh, she does have normal eyes, um, good hind legs, runner's leg, big bodies, Poisonous fangs and medium ears. She has three um, high fertility and F and B immunity. She does carry hemophilia though. So what I'm thinking is actually, hmm, with looking at all the creatures, I think maybe the, maybe choosing one with like the medium tail that doesn't have the swimming tail, but I'll let you guys pick. Um, so the creatures that don't have the like swimming tail are Fawn and Gooby, 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 and Lily. And then I'm pretty sure everybody else kind of like has the swimming tail. Um, so, Fawn and Gooby are the ones that do not have like any weakness in their tail. And let's see, Lily, she does have normal blood clotting. So actually Lily might be the best um, for the next queen. But like I said, I want you guys to pick, um, pick for, for me who you guys think the best queen is going to be. Uh, and we will see, and we'll definitely pick whatever you guys want to have in the future. Uh, we do have this carnivore over here that we need to take care of. So let's go ahead and start hitting on him and trying to get rid of this carnivore. He has, oh, he has quite a few health. We don't really have any creatures that are pretty strong at the moment, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and move the little Lily um, out as far as we can so she doesn't take any damage. And Karma, she's not really going to be able to get over there. And we have Bambi, she does have the claw um, fingers. We go ahead and start moving her over here so she can go ahead and fight the carnivore as well. Let's go ahead and move you there. And add, you can go ahead and start helping to, uh, we're not going to be able to kill this carnivore. Uh, we're going to have to wait to the next turn, unfortunately, to take on this big guy, which is a little bit sad because that means one of our creatures are probably going to take damage. Uh, let's go ahead and take down this nest. And let's go ahead and take down these berries. Let's go ahead and get these berries, too. Let's go ahead and move you over here and get this mole. There you go. And we can also get the berries that are over this way as well. And let's see, is Casper, did Casper pass away? Oh, Casper, she did pass away. She's right over there. Oh, poor Casper. Poor Casper, so sad. Uh, we do have you guys over here. So we can go ahead and get this mole right there. And let's go ahead and get these berries. And we can also go ahead and move you over here, get those berries as well. All right, so unfortunately, who's going to take some damage? Oh, no. Oh, it looks like, ooh, it looks like... Ivan took a lot of damage, and it looks like, uh, let's see, what do you have? You have warmed up. This animal is being warmed up by the pack. Okay. Um, so we need somebody to lick Ivan's wounds. Go ahead and lick your wounds. Go ahead and move you over here. 
go ahead and fight you. And unfortunately, it looks like Umbrella did pass away, who was the father of many of these children um, in our tribe. And it looks like little Zelda over here actually took on the carnivore and was able to um, do the last blow with him, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and grab this. And currently, we don't have a queen right now, which is pretty weird. We do not have a queen. I think what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode a little bit shorter because I really want your guys' input on who you think the next queen should be. This challenge has been so much fun, and thank you guys for all your support on it. And let's go ahead and get these berries really quickly before we leave. But yeah, so don't forget to vote for who you think the next queen should be for the Queen Bee Challenge. <laughs> Bye, guys.